Um, mm. Now, uh, I, I don't think it's the time. But um, mm. investors, I'm happy. I am. I'm just so happy. <laughs> oh. Hello, Pepsters. Um, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to another episode of Pep Spotlight. My name is FK Bravo, and today we will be joined by Starstruck Season 5 First Princess, Diva Montalapa. Hello, Diva. Hi! Hi, FK. Hi, Pepsters. Oh my gosh. Hello. Thank yeah. you for having me. Thank you also for joining us today. So of course. I just found out that you came from a photo shoot. I know, I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving us time oh to talk to you today. It's my great pleasure. Um, Pep has been part of my journey ever since I started. Alam um, I love yeah. Pep people. It's been more than a de- decade. They they um saw how I started up until now. So it's my great honor. Thank you. Oh, yes, I'm <laughs> sure Pepsters are happy to have you with us today. Um, okay, so for first part of the interview, magkakamustahan lang tayo. Okay, okay. so we found out that. that you moved, yeah, we you moved to America last year, right? Um, Can you talk to us about it? Sure. Uh, it's not so definite that I moved. You know, the word moved kasi oh. is like, like, Permanent for good. or something, yeah. yeah. Um, I couldn't say that for now because funny story. Um, initially I went here for my birthday, um, vacation. So every January, which is next week, next week's my birthday. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I love that. Happy birthday! <laughs> thank you. Um, I usually take this um solo trip trip out of the country. Like, magisa lang ako naliligo and all. And this time, I went to the US for my birthday. Um, so initially, that was just a very quick vacation. But since my family is here, uh, my friends are here. Um, and then that time, um, pandemic was still, you know, very yeah. chaotic still. Yeah. Um, so I decided to stay a little bit longer. And mm-hmm. I don't know, it, it from from couple of months, I guess, um, planned to stay here. Dumating yeah. sa one year and di ko lang napansin yung oras I'm having fun. <laughs> so yeah. to be honest, um, I'm just really letting life put me wherever. So as of now, that's why I'm here. I'm having fun and that's where it felt right to be here. But staying for good, I don't know. Because to be honest, I miss the Philippines. I miss my craft. Aww. I miss <clears> TV. <throat> so yeah. Yeah. So well, that's interesting to find out. the 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 long stay was unplanned, actually. I, mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. But I'm so glad to hear that you're enjoying your time there. Were the address What were the adjustments you had to make when you moved there? Um. Well, first and foremost, the weather. I love the weather. Oh. <laughs> it's snowing. Yeah. Actually, it's snowing <laughs> right now. Um. <laughs> second. Uh. Preferably, um, preferably, uh, because people don't know me here, I could just like go to the grocery store yeah. and be in my pajamas. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> wala uh, mong judge. <laughs> wala as in nakapambahay ako mamalengke, I mean, grocery yeah. and stuff like that. It's fun. Um, not too much of an adjustment because I have a lot of friends here and family. You know, um. I have events to go to yeah. now, all Filipino. There's a lot of Filipino community here, especially yeah. here in the East Coast. And I don't, I didn't feel homesick at all because I was so excited to to hang out and stuff like that. So mm. most likely just the the weather, and of course you have to deal with you know Americans here, medyo yung yeah. English natin, nagzizi like yung battery. <laughs> Feels like home, no? Because and dami mo nang kakailala. True, true. So wow, not so much of an adjustment. But maybe that's why I'm having very fun. Um, I'm having yeah. so much fun because I don't have yeah, to adjust I so much. Just the just tiny bit of details, but you know, it's no it's, homesickness it's or anything like that. Mm, may pa konte konte. So work ko talaga as in um the anxiety of being sent. Yeah, I scroll on social media. That's why. 
every once in a while I lay off social media because I anxiety ko because yeah. I miss work, I miss my colleagues, I miss everyone, uh, um, yeah. my my fans and supporters. Uh, so um, basically, I I now I'm sick of very light lang, but at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm still very grateful where I am right now and. Yeah. Ano ako ngayon? Parang nasa sabbatical ako ngayon. I'm trying to oh, refigure oh, things so out. Oh, that's so nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unexpected and planned your... sabbatical. Yeah. More time for your mental health to recuperate, oh, actually. If you have so a true. sabbatical. Yeah. Sure. Uh, oh, and if you don't mind me asking, um, where are you in the East Coast? Uh, I'm here in Virginia right now. Oh, Virginia. Okay. Yeah. So, you've been there long. Um, can you cite some of the fondest memories you've had since you went there, since you stayed there in um, Virginia? So, so Siguri, I know, when I got here, I got here a week before my birthday. So, that was my mm-hmm. first birthday in the U.S. Because I've been here before, but it was, like, not my birthday. It was just, like, you know, a random Ooh. trip. So, this is my first mm. birthday in the U.S. So, yeah. I got here a week after me and my family surprised me for a birthday party and Aww. I got friends and um, they surprised me in Washington, D.C. So we took a trip. Yeah. It's just an hour trip. I was in D.C. And then um, that was that was very memorable because um, one week pa lang ako dito, I've had that amazing feeling that people surprised me for a birthday. They took time, yeah. they took effort to prepare some stuff. So probably that one and then you mga mm-hmm. sumunod na was like just me traveling in different states here in the u.s different. and every time na sa isang state ako i always know someone so we get to catch up hang out oh that's so, so good lang. <laughs> it's so good that you have someone you know and like the different places you travel to mm-hmm. makes it that's easier true. for you to, to like adjust yeah if it's not that's what i'm telling you like you homesick yeah. it, it was just like very tiny if, it, yeah. if it's not my grade school classmate who's in the state, it could be my high school, my college <laughs> classmate, my friends from yeah. showbiz, my friends in somewhere else. There's always someone mm-hmm. and I'm very, very grateful. <laughs> yeah, so this would be um, last year, January? When oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, January. Your first birthday there. Yeah. Um, I got here in January first week mm-hmm. and then second week is my birthday, so... Mm. That was, that's that's very memorable i had fun mm. yeah i bet so <laughs> how about yeah and then um it's been a while since last ka na- nakachikahan with pep oh my gosh um, yes. so yeah so we just wanted to know like how are you doing how are you feeling like physically because the last chikahan um you were talking. You were talking about how you went through COVID and how mm-hmm. you survived all that, and the the trauma is still there. How about now? Like, how are you physically? Um, I'm doing very very well right now. Um, mm-hmm. so the last time I had COVID in the Philippines, because um, it was the peak of the cases, right? Yeah. We don't we don't know mm-hmm. much. We didn't know much. Yeah. All we know is it's a scary thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So from that, I always told everyone that um, the stigma is always going to be there. Because when I went here to the U.S., it's a lot of cases here, but people yeah. are somehow um, knowledgeable about this COVID and they know how to deal with it. You know, protocols mm-hmm. here are very strict. But mm-hmm. at the same time, people know what to do. They that's mm-hmm. why when I got here, after I got COVID, basically, mm-hmm. I, I search, you know, every yeah. bagong variant, every ganito ganyan, I search, mm-hmm. I become knowledgeable about COVID. And from then on, um, I was feeling very well. I always take my responsibility to just yeah. take care of myself and, of course, take care of my family. And actually, when I came here in the States, we had a family in the house that got COVID. So it was oh. like nostalgic again. It was just like, oh my gosh, this is this was me <laughs> yeah. when I was isolated. And before isolation period was like weeks, right? Yeah. So yung mga first batch. And then yeah. here kasi, 
actually they they take it very seriously but at the same time they don't scare themselves you know what i mean so mm-hmm. no na grand uncle we did sa bahay we just isolated at at our own risk mm-hmm. we have a schedule na ganito ako oras bababa and stuff like that uh, um, yeah, yeah. so we we don't take it lightly we take it seriously but at the same time we have to go on through our lives without you know being so much affected of covid cuz mm. alam mo yon just take your vitamins talaga and always yeah. just be aware and be more hygienic you know what i mean mm-hmm. but other than that i feel great um i still dance you know work out ko lately mm-hmm. i do tiktok yeah. if you guys want to follow me you guys <laughs> yeah me up. guys follow <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and there's a lot of activities here actually in from where i'm from it's like not so busy but it's not so province as well it's in the middle so we have a lot of mountains mm-hmm. we go hiking um my yeah, family oh, loves nice. to take road trips so we always um, nice. you know keep active But I'm doing Ooh, very well. You're an adventurous bunch. <laughs> I am. And we adventurous. are. Yeah. Well, that's good also since you mentioned like focusing on taking care of yourself and taking mm-hmm. care of your family. I think the good thing about COVID is that we picked up habits that are actually that are really good for us that um we wouldn't have picked up if COVID didn't happen. Right? Like right, it's right, very yeah. Eye awakening. So, ato lang masasabi ko. Um, don't dwell on things you cannot control. You cannot control yeah. COVID. It's always gonna be there. Control and yeah. how you will deal with it. And that's by mm-hmm. taking care of yourself, being anxious, be more. As I've said earlier, be more hygienic. Talaga. Because mm-hmm. wala tayong magagawa sa COVID. It's always gonna be there. Exactly. It's gonna mutate or whatever. Just you know, mm-hmm. do yeah. your responsibility. So, yeah. So about taking care of yourself, how do you take self-care breaks or like in between work? What are your um, little steps or ways to take care of yourself? Um, most of my friends know that I'm a laid back person. I am yeah. not like, a, sometimes I could be an introvert really. So what I do is just, I just want to be by myself. I love to... Mm-hmm. Play my guitars, write songs, read books, watch movie alone. You know what I mean. I always mm. take time to moment, talaga. <laughs> like my moment, talaga. Mm. Because mm. um, that's when I I think I could have time to really reflect on some things. Yeah. My moments, naman ako na I invite friends, we hang out, but mostly, talaga, I just wanna, you know, be by myself and mm. you know. Wala lang. Sometimes I just close my eyes, just listen to music, mm-hmm. and other than that, since I'm adventurous, nung nasa Pilipinas ako, nag, um, I do mountain climbing, umaakit ako ng bundok kasama yung mga friends Girl. ko. Yeah. yeah. And I do ice skating. Um, what else? Road trip talaga is like my go-to. So, um, pag may nag-aya lang sa akin na let's go road trip and if I don't have work I always you know go always make sure to make time for yourself you mm. know um, if you feel tired toxic everything is like going crazy you just you know take time to take care of yourself be with yourself and be alone mm. being alone if every once in a while is not bad trust me it's very very helpful yeah Because you live a very active lifestyle, do you also go like trekking? Kaya ikaw lang magisa. <laughs> Nagawa mo na ba? Oh um, wait lang. Very good question. Um, wait lang. Did I? Well, I mean, it's not trekking, but as I've mentioned earlier, um, I take trips on my birthday alone in a in a foreign country by myself. Uh, yeah. So. I'm Traveling. not sure if that's exciting as you know trekking, but um, <laughs> I just I just go wherever like mag isa. I don't know anybody yeah. and yeah, you know I feel like that's that's kind of trekking alone. It's not like very active, <laughs> but I just you know, wala kang kakilala, you know, just oh oh, wala kang mapagtatanong. It's exciting. Kuya oh. nasa niyo ano dito Starbucks tapos <laughs> tapos magko Korean sila na kanya ba o ba ba whatever so. Google Aww. Translate is the key. <laughs> I know. Oh, but that's <laughs> exciting kasi, di ba? Pag no wala ka, fun. hindi ka yung type of person na nagpapanik. Hindi ka controlling, hindi ka, oo, oh, oh, hindi ka nagpapanik. 
Hindi, kasi nakakatawa just... pag nag-travel ako, meron akong malaking mapa. Uh... Literal mapa. <laughs> I don't do Google Maps kasi <laughs> nakaka-confuse. Yeah. So, paglabas ka ng airport, if nasa foreign country ako mag-isa, mapa ang pinakauna yeah. ko ano. Tapos naka-backpack pa. Tapos naglala. Parang ako si Dora wow. talaga. Wow. Tapos pag nawala ako. Na backpacker. <laughs> sure. Pag nawala ako, um, I, I have this app on my phone. I speak yeah. to English. Tapos, sasabihin nila, for example, in Korean, in Korean, and then they speak, and yeah. then the app will tell me in English. You know what I mean? There's always yeah, yeah. ways, and it's fun to be lost every once in a while. Sabi ko nga, um, masyadong um, nakaka-pressure yung lahat planado. Sometimes you have to go on an adventure uh, to just really good. reset everything. So you guys, yeah. Pag that's medyo, a lesson I need to learn. <laughs> oh, you have to. Like, trust me. You'll yeah, thank me later. I promise. I just want everything planned. <laughs> oh my God. Ganun ako dati. Trust me. Yeah. Sobrang OC ako sa lahat ng schedule ko. Even sa work. Yeah. Dapat ganito, ganito, mm-hmm. ganito. I don't know. You're young. So, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> but when I got older, um, that's when I realized that I've been planning everything too much that I miss mm-hmm. having fun. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. every once in a while, I just have to let loose. You know, hindi ko naman sinasabi na wag kang magplano. Ano la? Take a break. <laughs> Take a break. Um, mm-hmm. and be random and be ano. It's it's fun. Promise. Mm-hmm. Okay, do it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So start with one day. Like start yeah. with a day na hindi mo pinlano the the day before. Just wake mm-hmm. up and got no plans and then just randomly do something. Just start Woo! with one day. And that's for <laughs> okay, everyone, okay. though. If you guys are scared, just yeah. start with one day. That's true. Yeah. Kaya tisang araw lang na hindi niyo pinlano, and then at the end of the day, you realize, you know, oh my gosh, today was fun, and I didn't even plan it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I should that's try nice. that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it unburdens you from any pressure. I am. Mm-hmm. So that's for um you mga catch up natin sa lifestyle no um i'm so glad to see you like glowing ever radiant so everyone oh. wants to know kumusta naman ang buhay pag ibig ayun na nga ayun na nga <laughs> ano so dito na <laughs> um paano ba alam mo siguro if eh, hindi mo ko nabutan no nasa state ako kasi you're so young <laughs> <laughs> But, hindi nakita ko siya kayo ano pa <laughs> elementary ka ba siguro na joke lang <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is um, ever mm. since my family and my, my fans and supporters could support me mm. in this and come back me up on this um, mm. and even my pet family know this lagi silang naiigni mm. sa akin <laughs> naiigni <laughs> or inaasar nila ako because they know I have been very private with my private life That's uh, one thing about me. When I started show business, I had the courage to tell myself to really put mm-hmm. some boundaries. But I can share what I can. And to be mm-hmm. honest, I am in a relationship right now. I am Ooh. very, very happy. Um, I only tell Pep this. Oh my god, I don't even yes. post it. <laughs> I don't even post it on <laughs> social media. But this is Pep. Yes. I love this family. They have oh, been there with me you. ever yes. since. Um, Tito Rommel, Ate Rose, Tito Rowell knows that. Mm-hmm. Everybody in Pep. Yeah. And um, Tito Ray, oh my gosh, I miss those. Mga kachikahan ko yan dati. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, they know I've been very private, but I always tell them naman if I'm in a relationship. They know mm-hmm. my love life journey from day one. My, my, <laughs> alam mo yan? If I'm in a relationship, if I'm heartbroken. But now I am very, very happy. I am in someone, and um, mm. I. Yeah, palag glowing. Grabe. Ina man ka kagisin ko lang okay. Ah, de ba? In there, I'm very happy, and um, I have plans to share more of that very, very soon because mm. you know something happened. Ooh. Something happened. Oh my. <laughs> Sige, na-excite kami. <laughs> There's something beyond that and um, oh. I can't wait to share. I mean, it's... Uh-oh. um 
I, I always kasi think about me, okay lang eh, kasi I'm an open book. But when it comes mm. to relationship, like especially if your partner is not in showbiz, it's kind of yeah. to be respectful for them, especially to their family. Mm. Um, I don't want to, you know, share too much because it's, it's their lives on the line, you know what I mean? Mm. But yeah. I'm going to share it to you very, very soon. I've been convincing my partner <laughs> to Aww. share our story. Um, it if it's is, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm letting, I'm letting my partner, you know, ready about, you know, if I want to share my story, this is yeah. not gonna be about me. It's also gonna be about you because you know we're opening our lives to them, and it's yeah, just our responsibility to share it to them, the right? So, um, mm-hmm. now uh, I, I don't think it's the time, but um, mm-hmm. Pepsters, I'm happy. I am. Um, I'm just so happy. <laughs> Oh, well, can, can we ask like how long this has been um, going on? A couple of years, yeah. A couple of years. Mm-hmm. Oh, going to okay, okay. more so private because <laughs> we really couldn't find anything. See, <laughs> okay, I told you. It. Oh, I told you. <laughs> so it's no. safe. <laughs> no, but ever since oh. the FK, since I started um show this twenty ten, um, mm-hmm. pretty sure. People, lalo na yung pep always cover my love life. <laughs> <laughs> they know my very first love life. Um, yeah. I don't, every, mapa showbiz or non showbiz, I I don't post my, my love life to social media mm-hmm. because I've learned yeah. it the hard way. Yeah. Um, ask me anything, just, you know, that's something I could not fully open mm. because I respect my partner and yeah, that, that's, that's just who I am. Mm. Nothing against lot, people uh, sharing their love lives through yeah, social media. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, like, yeah. That's courage right there. But mm. the moment you choose that, you have to be ready to a lot of consequences, especially, sorry yeah. to say this, but relationships, you know, break. Sometimes flourish, yeah. sometimes break. But there's this but na responsibility yun. And that's true. Since... Madalis ako at hihina ang anxiety and my mm. mental health sometimes is very vulnerable. I'm not ready for that. So that's the one thing I ask from people. Just bigay nyo sa akin to. I, I share what I can but mm. just bigay nyo na sa akin to. Everything else yeah. you can know. Yeah no, yeah, no worries at all because recently a lot more showbiz personalities are doing that then. Yung parang really? just confirming their status and then not posting about it online. Really? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Kasi, ano, yun nga, about boundaries. So, mm-hmm. ganun na ka na pala from the start. From the start <laughs> because, talaga. Oo, yeah. kasi, oo, yung mga celebrities ngayon, um, they're just starting it now kasi nakita na nila yung dangers of, you know, posting everything. But, May naisip yeah. lang akong funny, kaya, oh. ito ka lang. Pag Google. sinish mo nga, Sinerge ko yung sarili ko sa Google. And then, when I, when I type my name, di ba may lalabas na searches? Alam mo yeah. ba yung unang lalabas? Di ba man talaga ba husband? Di ba man talaga ba boyfriend? <laughs> di ba man talaga ba parang, oh my god. Ang dami na curious. <laughs> oh, what I'm saying is that, wala, feeling ko, tinry ko naman hanapin, wala akong mahanap na something I shared um, when it comes to that. Because I don't mm. know eh. Siguro ganun talaga ang klaseng tao. Because yeah. no, I started show business I was 16 years old. Wala akong kaalam-alam. Mm. Probinsya na yeah. ako. So why would I know something oh, yeah. like that? You're from Cebu. I'm a true oh in Cebu, ha? Yay. Ikaw, Kabalo pa ka mag-Bisaya. <laughs> Oo, Bisaya kay Kusta na. <laughs> so, okay, I'm from Iligan. Kaya pa lang ang ganda ni, K- ni FK. <laughs> wow. Si Sabuana. Basta you know. Bisaya. <laughs> yeah. Sa Bisaya, guapa. Okay. <laughs> so, <Can> nobody, <laughs> nobody taught me about being, you know, private when it comes to my love life. Because yeah. when I entered show business, I was already like that. So, maybe I was really like that ever since. Mm. So. And then I'm grateful mm. for that because I wasn't very stressful about yeah. when it comes to that because, you know, I take care of, of what I want to take care of. I share what yeah, I can, but true. for things that really matter to me and mm. na involved na ibang tao, nakakahiya okay. naman kapag the drug And non-showbiz pa, so kailangan yeah. talagang, yeah. yeah. Protect, protect. Ayan, so you clarify natin sa mga pepsers, wala pa po siyang husband. 
Pag yun na po i-search. Wala pa po. Wala Ayan. pa. Okay. Malay nyo. So, oh my gosh. Ay. Ay. <laughs> May pamalay. <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> oh, sige. So, basta masaya ang love life. Okay. Yes, super Now, happy. for mga ganaps mo naman. Oh. Ano yung mga current plans mo right now and what are your pending goals? Um, something exciting happened last month actually. I did a benefit show with the one and only Carol Benawa. Um, yeah, we did a concert. It was so much fun. I think I shared a little bit on social media, but it was a benefit show for our for an organization here in the States. That helps mm. um, our brothers and sisters that are, you know, struggling in the Philippines. So we uh, oh. did a concert to send send kids to school and, you know, send, you know, funds oh. para sa mga yeah. less fortunate natin na mga kababayan. Mm. And it was, I always, last you know. Last December? Yeah, last oh. December. Yeah, yeah last December. I always say, I always say yes to something mm. that has, you know, a vision and cost yeah. like this. So we did concert. We sang together. It was so much fun, and Aww. I got to hang out with um, Robert Schneider. Um, I'm gonna send you a photo. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's gonna <laughs> come out later. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, okay. <laughs> let's, let's talk about it later. Um, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> what else? Um, since I consider myself to be in sabbatical, um, when it comes to yeah. um showbiz career, I don't think I have like. Any specific plans, and mm. I'm very sad that so one year could I've but I've declined so many so many offers to like uh, oh, for movies, yeah. for soaps, mm. for anything else, yeah. everything else in between. I can't do it because I'm here. But uh, yeah. I'm hoping to be back soon, though. Regenerate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoping to be back soon, though, and uh, I'm gonna update you guys. But for now, um, Yay. yeah, I'm gonna update you. Um, Pep always knows everything. <laughs> He's yeah. always the first people to know, and I'm very glad mm. because uh, yeah, I trust Pep so much, and uh, I love I love these people. Anyway, mm. um, uh, I'm gonna let you guys know, but to, for now, I am just still just living my life at the moment. I am here mm-hmm. and now. I'm having fun. Um, Yay. let's just see. Um, I want to yeah. go home and Yay. work again, but for now, I'm uh, I'm chilling. I'm on, you know, yeah. sabbatical. Oh, and fun. Sobrang spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but okay. So that ends our kamustahan part, our first part, and now we proceed to our pep challenge. Our <laughs> pep challenge is called. Oh, oh, mahirap to. Sarap. Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> Social media raid. Okay, so for this one, Diva, I will just be flashing five random photos from your Instagram account. And then you will just tell us like a brief backstory or anything you want to share behind the scenes of that photo. Oh my gosh, I'm oh. nervous here. <laughs> oh, walang nakakahiya. I don't oh, promise. <laughs> okay, promise. Mga, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay, go. Start with our first photo. Oh, no, there. Yeah, Bill. Happy, happy. <laughs> yeah. That's um. That's very. I just got here in time na yan. Siguro I have been here for a month. And then New York is like five hour drive long from my place. Mm. And we have a couple oh. of friends and family there. So that's the day where it was like 24, you know, 24 hours. The whole day I was touring um, New York City. Oh, oh the whole day. Um, pero yeah. hindi naman mukhang puyat. Oh, di ba? Sana. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to the filter. <laughs> ah, filter is the key, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's the first one. Our mm-hmm. second photo, no man. Oh, there. Oh, you guys are gonna make me cry. Oh, go. <laughs> um, I just miss acting so much, and this this one is is a very special project that I did. Um, mm-hmm. obviously I'm uh. 
uh, from portraying uh, a Muslim woman. Mm. Um, and I always love portraying these kinds of roles because I know mm. somewhere in Mindanao or some Muslim community is seeing me and seeing themselves in me. Yeah. And it's a little bit pressuring because um, they have different culture and nuances that I have to learn yeah. and the words that I say. So every time yeah. I have a role like this, I always research what can I say, what can I not say. And mm. this one is a, I love heavy drama project. Um, I love mm. drama supporters. Yeah, from, that's, yeah, where from. I could, <laughs> that's where I could explore my craft. Yeah. But I think this one, if I'm not, mistaken i think this is for uh, magpakailan man or or like like our doc document documentary mm. weekly show in jemmy and i'm portraying as a mom and no yata yung husband ko niyan. so mm. i was like break down talaga but other than that um, I learned a lot about our Muslim and brothers and sisters. Yeah. And that's one thing yeah. I love about working. I learn a lot of things through the roles that I portray. Mm. But I get emotional because um, this is my craft for over a decade. And mm. like, I just love it. I missed it. Mm. I love this. I love, I love that the role. It reminds me of Aww. so many memories. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice backstory. <laughs> Ayan. So, baka gusto niya pa umiyak. Hindi na, hindi na. Baka, Bago tayo mag-proceed. FK, <laughs> baka ito lang susunod. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sige. Go. Next photo. Oh, oh there! I heard you talking about, like, speaking in Korean. Uh-huh. So, I think it's from this experience. That's oh, correct, no. FK. That's okay. the birthday... I think that was like mm-hmm. three years ago. I went to Korea by myself. I get lost mm-hmm. every single day. This nagrenta ko ng hanbok. Um, I went to Aww. the palaces and since so sobrang, you know, sobrang friendly. May mood din naman ako, but I was friendly <laughs> that trip because um I was super happy because you know I'm in a foreign country and I was like doing well. May namita ko kasi on my mm-hmm. birthday I I didn't celebrate it fancy way. I went to mm-hmm. uh. Buddhist temple. Nag overnight ako doon with the Buddhist, mm. and um, I lived their life for a day. I learned Buddhism, and I think mm. I shared it on my YouTube channel. Um, mm. Nag search for nako ng random random Buddhist temple that's near me, and I enjoyed myself. And I stayed there for like good two days. Um, bawal ang meat. Um, I learned how they pray. I learned yeah. some martial arts that they do um mm. that's how i spent my birthday like i was just you know learning a new religion and i felt nice you know you lived their life for a day uh I, basically two days so i was i oh. enrolled them noon and then the whole afternoon nice. they taught us like a dance a cultural dance archery and then oh. All the meals are no meat because they don't eat meat. It's all veggies. Mm. And then we slept like them. So sa isang kwarto, merong apat na parang nagstay visitors. So nasa yeah. floor lang kayo nakahiga. And then oh. there's two Korean, local Koreans, they're girls, that I met. Karoom ko sila. And they, oh. they speak English like 20% lang. So, you know, Google Translate is the key na naman. Yeah. But we get to hang out so much that the next day we're checking out. They're going to go back to the school. They offered that they're going to be touring me for the rest of my stay because they're, they're from Seoul. Mm. And I was like, wow. oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. So even when it's a struggle for me to communicate because like they don't know much of English, we yeah. had like the last three days being together, and that day was very special because that's one of those days. Parang that's like two days na lang ako sa Seoul. Sinamahan nila ako. They took off work. Oh. They drove me everywhere. They helped me find that costume. They brought me to local, oh. you know, restaurants. Yeah. And then. Sulit na sulit. <laughs> hinatid pa nila ako sa airport the next day. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Grabe. Sobrang oh, memorable yan. Sobrang bait. Yeah, because I was, 
I was going to ask na since you travel by yourself, do you always bring a tripod with you or nagpapa picture ka lang? So ito, yung mga friends mo na yung nag Yeah. For the good last part. Siguro yung mga unang part kasi late ko na sila nakita last leg na ng trip ko eh. So yung first mm. leg, may tripod ba ako? Hindi siguro. Siguro I ask someone siguro. Yeah. Yeah, parang ganun siguro ako. Mm. Hindi ako, wala akong masyadong equipment. Sometimes nga, parang islam <laughs> or pinatayo ko lang kung may, kung may sandalan yung phone. But Uh-oh. I think most of the time I ask strangers kasi um, to take my photo. Kasi ganun din naman yeah. yung mga tourista dun eh. You know, I'm a tourist. Oh. So I'm yeah, valid yeah. to do that. <laughs> so <laughs> siguro I always, so that, that, that picture is very memorable kasi that's the last leg of my trip and I met amazing people mm. that took care of me. And I met them on a random stayover at the Buddhist temple. How can that be so random? Like, how crazy is yeah. that? Everything is so random oh. and everything went well. That's why oh, you guys my have to take a leap of faith and do something new because you'll never know what Do what something happens. unplanned. <laughs> True. That's your project, FK, okay? Start with a dream and then let me know. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Nice backstory again. How about for our next photo? Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Oh, there you go. Grab it. Oh, bagay. Philippine. Bagyat na bagyat. That one was here is back. I think um, in invite ako for Santa Cruz and well, naka Santa mm-hmm. Cruz and naka crown ako. Um, mm-hmm. I remember that. Uh. Ito yung Santa Cruz na everybody is walking. Mm. I think it is in a uh, somewhere in Capiz. I'm not sure or mm. somewhere far. I, I took a mm. long trip to go there, and then I was, you know, I was doing that Santa Cruz because that time I have a show that is airing. Um, I think it was Haplos with Sanya. I'm not sure. But I think I met oh. Sanya Lopez that that time, and then naglakad kami literal, walang car car, yung literal na Santa Cruz san sa provincia, and <laughs> yeah. then um, I think I was with Max Collins too that time, and then mm-hmm. it was so much fun tiring, kasi syempre mahaba ang Santa Cruz san, but people are I never remember ko people are calling me by the name of my role. On, on, on Haplos Aww. show, which was airing mm-hmm. at that moment when we were in Santa Cruz. In kami. And my fans and supporters always know me. I love to reconnect with them. I love people, you know, I love to interact with them. I'm a personal man on social media. So that one was mm-hmm. memorable because, you know, I get to see them in person and, you know, handshake them. And yeah. Ayan. So something kind of connected dun sa pinakita na photo. A lot of people have been asking, kasi dati, di ba, lagi kang pinapush for beauty pageant. Oh And then, <laughs> recently, may nakita kong post mo na yung comment, um, interested ka ba sa Miss Supranational? Oh my gosh! Nasa yung pa ba yan? Like, I'm curious lang to know. Interested ka pa ba sa, ano, pageants or well considering my age fk i don't think you know um oh, wait. they have age requirements and i think yeah, super so, that adjusted their age requirement 32 yeah i'm turning 32 this saturday <laughs> oh <pwede>. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so I think I was very um, open about, you know, before joining show business, I was joining beauty pageants back in Cebu already, mga Bara Barangay, yeah. Miss yeah. Cebu, and I was about to join Binibini Pilipinas actually um, before I auditioned for Starshock. But then again, Starshock came Ooh. in early, a little bit earlier. And from that day of edition, sunod sunod na kasi lahat eh. And mm. um, work the real world of sh- showbiz started, and sunod sunod na. And every year ako tinatanong ng pep people yeah. ko yeah. <laughs> na about joining, but yeah. there's always not a good timing. I mean, mm. every every screening time na it's either I have a show, ongoing mm. show, and. Uh. People don't understand that you, you can't do both. You can't have it both. 
if you're gonna join the beauty pageant mm. at some point you have to stop you know your craft acting yeah. basically working for tv because you know you can't have it both ways um yeah wala lang talagang time na parang mas na, na like you know you know if things feels mm. right right well it didn't feel right for me there was like a, there wasn't a good timing a great timing mm. for that um so that's why i wasn't able to do timing it it wasn't always right but yeah did i regret it yes but mm. did i understood along the way why god planned it that the way that way definitely mm. yes um would i do it in my next lifetime i'll definitely will <laughs> oh. this lifetime um it's it's kind of blurry it's already yeah. kind of blurry yeah yeah okay so <laughs> now we're down to our last photo Okay. Um, oh, there! You were about Sarah to share Schneider. <laughs> about this encounter. Sarah okay. Schneider, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. I love that guy. He's amazing. Mm. So that was the benefit concert I was talking about. And mm. um, at that same night, he had stand up show um like um, a different concert hall that same building it's in capital one arena in washington dc um and then oh. he his show finished early and then we're still going to our finale song with ati carl but mm. and me and then he walked past by me and out of oh. nowhere i said hi like instinct lang na hi oh. um <laughs> I knew beforehand that he was actually Filipino. He's half Filipino. Do you guys know that? I didn't know that. <laughs> he is Filipino oh, really? and he's so cute about it. Like we talk about oh. Marunong ka pa bang mag Tagalog. He's like, oh. no, I just, I'm not, not so much, but Bastus, he's always saying that. <laughs> 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 and then oh. he said, you know what? I, I miss Pansit so much. Pansit. He knows Pansit. Aww. He was so cute about it. And out of instinct na naman, I decided mm. to ask him or like randomly kasi sobrang random ko kahit ano na nagsinasabi ko. I told him, <laughs> do you want to say hi to our, yeah. you know, community? Because our show is still mm. going on. You could say hi. You know what? Yeah. Because he was on the way to his car and tinakbo ko talaga siya because that's once in a lifetime oh. opportunity, you guys. That's Rob mm. Schneider. I yeah, watch all his exactly. films. He's like one of the funniest guys I know. Exactly. So, you know what? He just said, okay, let's do it. I was like, are you serious? I was just kidding because I know he was about to go home or go to his car. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. You know what? He went to the he went to the uh, hall where we're having our concert, mm. and then just before we sing our finale song, he went and grabbed the mic, said hi. The people went crazy, by the way. It was like, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, course, Rob, it's Schneider. Rob Schneider. <laughs> so people bought tickets to see me and Ati Carlo Benawen out of nowhere before finale. Rob Schneider is gonna go up. I was like, they people went crazy. Yeah. So, he said he said hi to the, to the audience he did a little bit of stand-up so much yeah. fun Aww. so cute and then wow. said said goodbye words and you know that's it like they had a rob schneider experience without even expecting it same as i i was like and now we talk on instagram oh yeah again very nice memories you've made there already. Did you make it? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Time to you relax. Made it. I am. <laughs> was so the nervous. Challenge. It's all for the challenge. I am. Thank you so much, Diva. And now, finally, a little bit of nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Throw this portion will be about mga throwbacks now. Okay. So, first of okay. all, congratulations. It is. It's already your 13th year oh my in gosh, showbiz. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank yes. you, okay. Thank you. So, sobrang, sobrang daming nangyari. <laughs> Na nakasama <laughs> din ng pep. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Since day one. Sobrang daming showbiz career mo. Ano yung, what would you, um, what would you, say, uh, what, is, what is your most unforgettable moment? Um, 
you know what being in the industry for you know 13 years it's it's not it's a little bit you know it's quite a while it's not a short time mm. it's it's also been a long yeah. time pag tinatanong ako lagi niyan i always can come up with just one yeah it's 13 no. years you can't have just one <laughs> But if I'm just gonna squeeze everything out, I think on the top of my head would be working with the one and only Miss Nora Honor. Um, oh. Nasampal ako ng sobrang lakas na nabingi ako. <laughs> <laughs> nabingi um, ka talaga? Yeah, I'm not even kidding. That was true. Like, oh. um, after niya ako, it was uh, an episode, by the way, of Magpakailan Man. It was like a Christmas mm. special. So it was like a family mm. story and very drama, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, sinampal niya ako, we didn't rehearse it, it was like, kahit sobrang sakit, I was like, oh my gosh, nasampal ako ni Miss Nora, ano, artista na talaga ako. Artista ka na. That's what they always get about, you know? But, yeah, yeah working with um Miss Nora on Nora, of course. But at least one take, one take lang ba yun? Yung sampal oh, yeah. na yun? That was one take. Oh, okay. You guys, if you wanna <laughs> check the episode out, it's still out on YouTube, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. it's a very nice family story. Um, yeah. another memorable would be working with my icons. They have been my icon ever since I entered show business. Mm-hmm. Working with um the one and only the late Michelle Hill. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Working yeah. with her was like a huge milestone for me. Mm-hmm. Um, she looks very intimidating, but she's like the nicest person I know. Very uh, helpful mentored mm. me with a lot of stuff um working with her was just like oh my gosh i made it um mm. what else working with ati isa Sado became uh, my close friend as well um my mentor she was my judge on my starstruck days like she was one mm-hmm. of the panels but she became a friend and my ate and my mentor and you know just being her friend and you know sharing some of my stuff that's been happening and, you know, helping me with my problems through advices. Mm. Um, that's that's one thing I love about being in showbiz. I gain a lot of people. People may think it's hard to make friends because, oh, well, maybe they're just competition lang sila Competition is... Yeah. Uh, yeah, but and I've gathered few, but quality friends that I treasure up until mm. this day. So, yeah. made a lot of memories, but once again, siguro yun lang on top of my head. And, Mm-mm. yeah. Working with such icon. Oh, yeah. The most sure. unforgettable. Christopher yeah. De Leon. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, how about for your... So, those are the unforgettable moments. Um, How about for the most challenging part? Ano yung most... pinaka challenge throughout your career? A uh, fourth. 13 years, um, there's a lot of challenges, of course, but if you say most challenging, that should be someone yung pinaka nahirap and ganda ba? Mm. Um, to be honest, it's it's very challenging because you always have to do your best. You know? Because mm. um, sa sobrang dami ng artista, if you're given the opportunity, yeah. the pressure is really there. And it could be a challenge sometimes because I love challenge. You know, I'm very adventurous. Mm. I'm like, give it to me, girl. But sometimes yeah. it's just, you know, depende kung syempre maroon din naman tayong kaming person na tayong personal life na alam mo yun, hindi deal with. And iba pa rin yung, iba pa din, iba ba yung career. Sometimes it's yeah. just hard to keep up especially if you're not well, if you're mm-hmm. mentally incapable, if you're emotionally incapable. It's a huge challenge for me to always be your best. So sometimes I fall off, especially mm-hmm. if I have something going on with my personal life. But mm-hmm. I always make it to a point that I, I come up strong. I always recover very well. Thank, to my, mm-hmm. thank you so much to my family, friends, supporters that keeps me helps me keep going. Um, yeah. Maybe that's it. You have to be always your best. Um, people expect you to be your best because that's, you know, that's why you have the job. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's the most challenging um, so far. Just the others are just, you know. Striving to be it. better every single yes, day. Yes, that's the thing mm-hmm. you have to. Yeah. Again. So how about yeah. your, I know, um, what would you call your biggest lesson? <laughs> If you could put it in a nutshell, 
like biggest lesson or most important lesson that you learned? For 13 years in the business, um, I think I've learned how to value everything you have. Mm. Um, oh. It could be things, it could be people, it could be the experience. Because in my first year in the show business, I took everything for granted. But please consider, I was just 16 years old. I came from Cebu. I know That's nothing, true. Of, the, I know nothing yeah. of Tagalog. Um, I was still studying when I was second year in college. And I know nothing. Even speaking in Tagalog. And FK, alam mo yan, di ba? We don't speak Tagalog in Cebu. So, pag pumunta ka ng Maynila, talagang matigas, balok, matigas baloktot, and everything. Yeah. But um, but other than that, for siguro mga first three years ko sa showbiz, since I was just a kid, I took some things for granted. And thank God, um, na-realize ko naman siya agad-agad. And... Mm. Medyo konti lang yung regrets, but eventually I learned it the hard way to always value what you bond with some people. Like I, yeah. I have few, few friends in the business that I treasure so much, and um, mm. I wouldn't be treasuring it right now if you know I didn't learn the lesson of you know appreciate yeah. the people you meet, especially if you have the genuine connection, and just be grateful, cause. We all know for a fact that showbiz is not a lifetime career. And mm. I think all of you guys will leave up pep stories. Hindi yan forever. I- ilan lang <laughs> na kapag stay yeah. na how many decades. So what I'm yeah. saying is um, value everything that has been given to you. Mm. Maliit man o malaki. The people you meet along the way. Yun yung pinaka nabaon ko in 13 mm-hmm. years and i've applied it just not not just in my career but in my personal life and you know yeah i've never been happier mm-hmm. and speaking of like creating connections with people what do you think about burning bridges especially in your career I don't. have you done that you don't okay. i don't because but i mean i don't know so meron. <laughs> yeah, pangalan na lang natin sa. <laughs> sa pangalan na FK. Sa pangalan. <laughs> Itago pala pangalan natin. Itago natin sa pangalan. Sa pangalan. Ano? BK. BK? Oh ah. my gosh. Stop. Mapapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakapakap
Totoo lang. Everything mm. they give to me, as long as it's doable, I do it. Mm. Because mm. that's where I learn to be grateful. There's no small roles, only small actors. So, kahit oh. ano role yeah, as long as it's doable, um, I do it. I, mm. I'm respectful to my colleagues. Um, just not people on screen, but people behind the scene, my producers, my directors, mm. my, my staff. I'm always close to them, not because, you know, you have to, but they're your family it will last for a couple of months and then up to mm-hmm. years i mean director ko no first sh- uh show ko sa Jemmy after star shock is still my friend up to now we still talk oh. um just treat your career not just as work people that you yeah. work with especially those people na mas pagod sa inyo behind the scene they're your family mm. they got your back they're yeah behind that's it. true you cannot do a project without them So I think mm. I lasted that long because I appreciate the people I work with. I appreciate mm. every chance that Jimmy gave me. I just mm. appreciate the fact that of all the contestants in Starshock 5, Jimmy mm. chose me to the grand finals and won second first place. Yeah. So the key yeah. word lesson is just appreciate. Like appreciate. like You should appreciate every mm. chance that's got that God has given to you, and then exactly. or you realize mo na lang na parang oh, ang tagal ko na pala dito. Ano ng nangyari? Oh, Where did diba? all those years go? <laughs> parang oh, yeah. ang bilis lang. Yeah, and yeah. also yun nga. So finally, I just want to know because um, you said you appreciate every role and mm-hmm. you value every role. Like there are no small roles. For example we're sure that you have like a dream project so you know then your final question go like what's your dream project like it could be a genre or a specific character that you want to portray i always want to be a vida contra vida oh. like because for, for those 13 years i think um so, so, so fans ko lang din to or so comments sa social media ko to na babasa na mm. ang tingin nila sa akin is always contra vida <laughs> and I don't I don't disagree with that because I always do mm. contributor roles. Um I love to do a vida contra vida like two two roles to me mm. and then um I know it's not new but I just really want to try to mm. be both yeah. the same the same character in one show. Mm. And just to you know challenge myself to like do transition from vida to contra vida in a short period of time because it's very hard mm. it's not easy to it is it is yeah and with a little bit of action i love doing action gusto ko yung action like action yeah um Uh-oh. what else that action and um a heavy drama show because that's my forte Uh, oh right. my gosh, that would okay. be amazing. I know. So, sa mga nakakarinig. Jemmy, wow. <laughs> baka naman. Pagbalik Jimmy, ko. Jemmy, baka naman. <laughs> Oo, balik ka na daw. <laughs> Oo. Ayan. Okay, so thank you so much. That's all for today. Thank you so much, Diva, for joining us. Ayan, kung may mga gusto kang i-promote sa mga... Um, Like things you do now, or the shows, some shows, or anything, please promote or or your socials also. Okay, sure. Um, sa mga of course, magpapanood to ng mga pep series natin and dito sa America, right? Um, I'll be having a couple of benefit shows with some special guests. So, um, as soon as as it's all um finalized, um, please follow mm-hmm. my social medias. I'm on Instagram. Facebook, I'm on YouTube, I'm on TikTok, it's Diva Montalaba, I'm on Twitter as well, Diva Montalaba. Um, I'm gonna post all of my shows, upcoming shows there, so sana makapunta kayo, it's gonna be fun. Um, sa mga top series natin dyan sa Pilipinas, I hope you guys just look out for me in social media as of the moment, because I'm still not there. But trust me, if I'm home, you guys are gonna be the first people to know, because I'm gonna let you know that I'm gonna be there, and as soon as I'm gonna have a line of projects Yay. that I'm gonna do there, I will let you guys know. Um, I just want to take this opportunity to really thank you guys sa lahat ng pepsters natin, and to my fans and supporters for just 
still being there even though I had my sabbatical for a year now and um, mm -hmm. you guys are the best you guys didn't let go and I promise you I'm not gonna let go I'm still gonna um let you guys know kung kumusta ako kung buhay pa ba ako <laughs> <laughs> and of course, <laughs> want to say thank you to my pep family. You guys have been there for me since day one, through good times and bad times. Um, I know uh, I wouldn't have completed my 13 years without pep in my journey. And you guys have been amazing. Mm. Sobrang salamat Aww. sa nandyan lang kayo palagi. Kahit anong ganap ko sa buhay, mapapangit, mapamaganda. Mm. <laughs> You guys are always there and my journey wouldn't be complete without you guys. And it's still gonna continue with you guys by my side. So thank you so much, Pep. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much, Diva. And of course, um, I just like to tell all our Pepsters to not forget to follow and like and subscribe all of our social media accounts for Pep. So it's found here. Um, our official website is at www.pep.ph. You may also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, it's at Pep Alerts. And then on YouTube, it's pep.tv, Viber, Kumu, and Kalamansi, pep.ph. Okay, thank you so much, Pepsters. Thank you so much, Diva. Um, hope to you. see you in person soon. Yes, okay. Thank you so much, FK, <laughs> so for spending this time with me. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Pepsters. Bye. Bye, Divas.